In this tutorial video series on Nuage, I'm going to show you how to create audio mixes in Dolby Atmos. But first, before we get started, what exactly is Dolby Atmos? Well, like other surround systems, Dolby Atmos is a multi-channel speaker system that allows you to position sound sources around the listener's head in 360 degrees. Atmos is unique in the aspect that it has speakers on the ceiling, so you can also position sound above your head. And this creates the ability of uh, making exciting uh, special effects with motion, uh, with sound sources moving around the listening area. Uh, Dolby Atmos can be heard in both the cinema format in, in theaters and also in a home format in your living room or listening uh, at your home. Traditional sound systems position the sound source around the listener's head through the use of a panning tool. And what the panning tool does is just vary the level of that sound source in each speaker channel to create the illusion of a sound source coming from one direction or another. Dolby Atmos also has this capacity, um, and we call this the bed. So that's just the foundation of sound in Atmos. In addition to the bed, though, we have a new type of sound source called an object. And an object is also uh, able to be placed in the surround field uh, around a, a person's head, including up above their head. However, the way the sound source is positioned is different. The object actually uses the computer in the Dolby RMU unit to calculate how, the speak, how each speaker channel in the system should behave in terms of phase and timing and filtering to create an especially accurate position of that sound source around the listener's head, including motion. Like if we're moving a sound source from behind to in front or over, over the person's head, the Dolby RMU unit can utilize the speaker array to create a very, very three-dimensional enveloping sense of that sound source position. And the way this is handled is a little bit different than the traditional panner. Instead of the panning data being used to adjust the levels between the speaker uh, channels, the panning data is sent as uh, computer information to the Dolby RMU unit, which then uses a computer simulation of the room to create a position for that sound source. So what we have to do is connect the panner to the RMU unit and send an audio source to the RMU unit so it can create this sonic illusion. So those are the two different types of sound in Dolby Atmos. We have the bed, which is a traditional sound, uh, surround sound environment, and then we have the object, which is unique to Atmos and requires the special Dolby RMU unit and some special connections between Nuage and the Dolby unit. So in these videos, we're going to take a closer look at how to set all of this up and then provide you with some examples of how it's actually used. And you can see it in action as we mix a movie in Dolby Atmos.